Today we'll be showcasing how to install the MixPre series ASIO driver. Before we begin, let's discuss what we'll be going over in this tutorial. We'll be going over what is ASIO, where to download the MixPre series ASIO driver, and how to properly install the ASIO driver. Within just a few minutes, you'll be able to install the ASIO driver for your MixPre series recorder. So, what is ASIO? The audio stream input slash output, or ASIO for short, allows third-party manufacturers to develop plugins and audio hardware that gives software access to multi-channel capabilities. The MixPre series uses an ASIO driver from Ploytech so that the audio application can view all available inputs and outputs, as well as higher sampling rates and bit depths. This allows you to utilize your MixPre series recorder to its full potential. With a basic understanding of what an ASIO driver can accomplish, a good question to ask yourself is if you need an ASIO driver. The MixPre series by default is a USB audio class 1, which will allow users to send and receive two channels of audio between the MixPre series recorder and the computer. Depending on your needs, one question to ask is, am I a Windows user looking to utilize more than two channels and or higher sampling rates and bit depths? If you find that your need is for more channels and or higher sampling rates and bit depths, head on over to our website or click the link in the description below to our downloads page. Once there, Select ASIO driver download under your MixPre series model. Note the version number and download the ASIO driver and save it to a destination you can easily access and save it to a hard drive that is non-removable. This is to help prevent any file corruption or confusion later on. Once you've securely downloaded the ASIO driver, you'll notice that the file you've downloaded is in a zip format. Extract the contents of the zip file to a secure destination such as your desktop or folder. To extract the ASIO zip file, Find the location of your newly downloaded ASIO file and right click on the zip folder and select Extract All. You'll then be prompted with a new window asking where you'll want to extract the contents to. For simplicity, we'll be extracting the contents of our zip file to our desktop. With extracting the zip file to our desktop, take note of the application labeled Sound Devices underscore MixPre underscore and then the version number. Note the version number within the file name to ensure that you have the correct version. Before we launch the following application, connect your MixPre series recordable with a suitable USB-C cable, or if you've purchased the MixPre 3 or MixPre 6, you can use the MX-USB-Y cable that was provided with the unit. If using the MX-USB-Y cable, plug in both USB-A connectors at the end of the Y cable. This will allow your MixPre 3 or MixPre 6 recorder to be properly powered. Please note that the MixPre 10T cannot be powered off the USB-C connection and requires an additional power source from the 4-pin Hirose or from battery power. After verifying the version number and connecting our MixPre, we'll go ahead and launch the application. Your Windows operating system may ask you to allow this application to make changes and will want to allow this by hitting yes. Moving on, the program will load the application and you'll be greeted with two windows, one of which we can ignore. We'll want to focus on the window labeled MixPre USB ASIO Driver and then the version number. From this point, we can follow the instructions from the program. Go ahead and select your preferred language and hit OK. Within the next window, select and click Install the Driver. After selecting this option, the application will begin to install the MixPre Series ASIO Driver. As soon as the application is finished, you'll be prompted with the following message. The installation completed successfully. It's not necessary to reboot. Congratulations, we've just installed the driver. However, before we get ready to use our MixPre series recorder, let's disconnect and reconnect the MixPre from our computer. After that's done, let's confirm the ASIO driver has been installed properly. Go ahead and show your desktop, and locate the far right hand side of your toolbar. You'll note that the time and a few icons are there, but most importantly, a speaker icon. Go ahead and hover over the speaker icon and right click on your mouse. A menu will appear above your cursor and will want to locate the option Playback Devices. Once you've found it, select and click Playback Devices. Now, what happens if you don't have that speaker icon I referred to earlier? There is a workaround. Go to your Windows button located in the far left of your toolbar and click it. Next, search for sound. Once results have finished, select the sound option. Now we're in the sound panel. In here, we'll want to find our MixPre series recorder we've connected earlier. 
You may have a large list of playback devices and that's okay. You'll want to search for a listing that notes Mix Pre Audio and then the version number showcased here. If you see that your Mix Pre series recorder with the ASIO version number at the end, congratulations. You've successfully installed the Mix Pre series as your driver.